All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I ordered myself a fast gaming desktop computer PC from eBay. Now, the reason I've done this is a few reasons. A lot of people are always saying on my videos that my FPS is way too good and that I should use a lower end system. I've been wanting to get a low end system for a while now. So I thought rather than building one, because that is really expensive right now, why don't I just go on eBay and try and buy one off there? And I also wanted to see how honest the sellers on eBay are as well. So this is the eBay listing right here. As you can see, fast gaming desktop computer, PC, Intel Core i3, third gen, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabyte, Windows 10. So as you can see, one sold, that was me. And uh, yeah, this is the listing. It looks pretty good. You know, we've got some RGB fans on the case, we've got all the features and stuff here. We've got RGB remote, you know, all this good stuff here. And the total price, £253.99. So yeah, this looked pretty good to me. So I went ahead and I ordered this. I ordered this on a Friday and it actually came the next day. So what you're about to see is the unboxing of this computer. So yeah, let's unbox this computer, set it all up and see how well this actually runs Minecraft. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. This is probably one of the most expensive videos I've ever done, dropping this much money just to make one video. But I might turn this into a series. Let me know in the comments section down below of what you want me to do with this computer. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. All right, so literally after a day, it's already turned up. That is amazing shipping. Like Amazon Prime next day has got nothing on this. Considering I ordered this off eBay, the shipping was expected to come on Monday, but it's here already. So we're going to unbox it here. So uh, yeah, here's the box for it. So yeah, let's just go ahead and... Uh neatly cut the box open doing this with one hand so not ideal right boom this is our gaming pc right it's kind of upside down right now let's just get this polystyrene stuff off That down here. Lift this off. Let's just whip that off. Oh, we got an RGB remote. Look at that. So we've got RGB fans at the front here, so we can control that with this. Wow, my PC doesn't even have this. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So we've got a Windows 10 sticker here, which uh, is on very straight. I don't know who put that on there, but yeah, Windows 10 stick. It's not even official either, like someone's just made that. So uh, anyway, yeah, let's take the side off and see what we've got inside. And here for the big reveal. <laughs> yeah, this is what we've got. So we've got no graphics cards, as you may have noticed. We've got the most boring heatsink ever. I don't even know what that is. I was expecting an Intel one, but Okay, we've gone for eight gigabytes of RAM here. So we've got very average looking RAM here. No RGB RAM or anything. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's what it looks like inside. So we've got like this really cool gaming case with RGB fans and stuff. And then you just look inside and this is what you're greeted with. So another thing I've noticed is that this is actually a Lenovo um, motherboard. So I think what they've done is they've literally just taken an off the shelf PC taken the parts out of it, stuck it in this epic RGB gaming case and uh, sold it to me for 250 quid. So if we come around back here, here are all our ports. Now I didn't actually check this on the eBay listing, so I was hoping it would have DisplayPort or HDMI or something. So it looks like we've got a DisplayPort there. We've got VGA, uh, this doesn't have a HDMI. This is our Wi-Fi, literally just a DS, what was it? In focus, 802.11n. USB Wi-Fi, so no Wi-Fi card or anything. They just stuck this in the back here using that one USB port. All right, let's just take some of the RAM out and see what we've got here. We have got, don't even know what that is. <laughs> I don't even think it's branded. Yeah, well, I've ordered eight gig of RAM and we've got literally all the slots populated. So that's two, four, six, eight. So I'm guessing these are all two. It doesn't say that anywhere. Yeah, really uh, high performance gaming RAM this is. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say really. I don't know what I was expecting. 
Like, I mean, a super fast gaming PC is uh, what I obviously expected, but yeah, it looks like we've got a pretty average PC in a gaming PC case. But yeah, let's get it all plugged in and uh, let's see what this is like. <laughs> Alright guys, so just ran the Windows initial setup here and uh, this is what we're greeted with. So we've got some uh, pre-installed bloatware here. We've got Ball Guard, we've got Spy Cleaner, AnyDesk and Adobe Acrobat. I don't know why this has come pre-installed on the computer. I'm probably just going to get rid of it because I've used Ball Guard before and honestly it does more harm than good. And while we're on the topic of bloatware, this is a Windows 10 Home installation. So we've got all of this stuff here that we don't really need. So I've already gone ahead and taken a look at the specs here, but if we just have a look at them here and open it up, I've been mugged off. Look, so we've got an i3-2120 CPU and uh, the advert said third generation Intel Core i3. So we've got a second generation Intel Core i3 here, which I'm not very happy about. So it just means we've got an even slower computer than what was advertised on the listing. We've got 8 gigabytes of RAM, so that's good. We did check that, so uh, it's good that that's right. And uh, another thing I noticed was that it's really slow. Now, obviously, this is running off a hard drive. It's not an SSD, so it is going to be slow. However, I went ahead and went to the task manager here. And as you can see, if we just uh, wait for it to load up. Yeah, we've got quite high disk usage and not a lot's going on. If I just scroll down here. Like, there's nothing really taking up the disk, like, literally at all. So, yeah, it looks like we've got a failing hard drive, boys. Ah, <sighs> well, I guess it's all for the content. Anyway, let's go ahead and install Minecraft and uh, see how it runs on this system. All right, so I've just installed Minecraft on this computer. And it's a vanilla installation, so if we just go ahead to the video settings. As you can see, I've set it all up. I've turned off VSync. I've set the max frame rate to unlimited. Not that we're really going to need it. I've set the render distance down to about 8. And yeah, we should probably turn the clouds off as well. So yeah, I haven't installed Optifine yet. So we're just going to see how it runs with a standard vanilla installation. So yeah, let's go ahead and make a quick creative world here. And uh, let's see what kind of FPS we get on this super fast gaming PC. Alright, so we've loaded up now. Oh, okay. That didn't feel good. Let's have a look here. 18 FPS. 21, 25. Oh my god. I'm using my capture card right now to record, so I haven't got any recording lag. This is genuinely how it is for me right now. Oh my god. This is... <laughs> this hurts. If you've got a 144 hertz monitor like me, and uh, trying to play 30 FPS, oh, it's... It's not very good. <laughs> We're running off the Intel HD graphics right here. What happens if we look down? How many do we get? I uh, get about 45. Look up. Yeah, we get we get 60. We want to try and at least get 60. 60 is kind of playable. 30, 40. Uh, it's, it's just really, really choppy. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and get Optifine here because it's just unplayable right now. Let me just go and find the 1.8 version. Let's see here. Scroll all the way down because I play on a really old version of Minecraft. Here we go. Oh, go away. Oh, I just forgot. I'm going to need Java as well to run the installer. Let me go ahead and grab that. All right, so just got Java. Let's go ahead and install that. There we go. It's successfully installed. And uh, should set our installation to Optifine. Yep, there we go. Right, let's hope the FPS is a little bit better now with Optifine. All right, this is, this is playable. All right, so we've got the settings all kind of set up. Let's check our FPS out. Ah, <laughs> we're still getting about 20. Ah, brilliant. Right, we're going to have to turn down some settings. There's no way we're going to be able to play on fancy graphics. Let's turn them down. Just turn smooth lighting off. Put the render distance down a bit. Oh, we just crashed. We've just crashed. Okay, 
All right, let's go on Hypixel and try and play some duels. I'm probably going to get absolutely destroyed, but hey, it's for the content. Oh, what? All right, so just set up my controls and uh, yeah, let's try and play some duels. We're probably going to get absolutely destroyed. I don't know what's happening to my... What's happened to my mouse? The sensitivity suddenly gone really high. All right, so it feels a little bit smoother now because I think the map is a lot more flat. So that's good. But yeah, 1.8 Optifine on a super fast gaming PC. What can we do? Is this guy hacking? I think that guy's hacking. There's no way. All right, let's put my render distance down even more. Let's play on like tiny. Ah, there we go. That feels smooth now. Oh, we're getting 60. All right, we're just going to have to play like this. There's no way I'm going to be able to play on fancy graphics. Okay, my aim is pretty bad. Oh. I've run out of arrows. Come on. Come on. No. 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 What was that? One heart. I just realized this is probably really cringy for the people that normally watch me just to see how bad I am using uh, 30 FPS on this, on this system. I can assure you this isn't my gaming mouse I'm using right now. I haven't got my side buttons or anything. I haven't got a PvP client or anything on, and I'm on a pretty bad system. Oh, this is just a scam. This is just a complete scam. If I was a poor kid and I'd saved up all my money to buy this computer, I'd be disappointed. <laughs> Literally, it's probably I'm probably better off just playing on a laptop from PC World. Yes. Strafed. No! The moral of the story is don't buy a super fast gaming PC off eBay. So if you guys have got your Christmas lists ready, make sure you don't ask for a super fast gaming PC from eBay because you'll literally get what I've just got and you'll be very disappointed. I wouldn't recommend it. Just make sure you're really specific with uh, your Christmas list. Yeah, there's no way I'm winning this. I just can't. But hey, now we've got this computer, we might as well make the most of it. So I'm going to make this into a series of videos on my channel where I'm basically going to run a load of FPS boosting programs, techniques, all the stuff that I would do normally if this was my computer. We're going to try and make this computer actually able to run Minecraft and we'll be actually able to beat people in Hypixel duels. So yes, yeah, get subscribed and leave a like on this video if you want to see that. And uh, yeah, I might maybe run Linux on this computer. Maybe we'll de-bloat it and maybe get a special version of Windows, like Windows LTSC, to get rid of some of all the background processes. I might get a new hard drive. I might put an SSD in here, but I don't really want to do that just yet. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see. And uh, yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys all enjoy this video and new content that I've got planned. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Peace.